What's going on guys? All right, so today I have a long crank uh, when cold. Whenever it warms up, cranks up just fine. Um, I'm gonna try to make this as short and as informative as possible. Um, so uh, stay tuned. As you can see, it is 44 degrees outside. That's kind of chilly. Um, hold on. Got the scan gauge too. All right. Letting the glow plugs warm up. All right, they're warm. Let's make sure this isn't gonna cut off on us and Good. That sounds like I have a cylinder down. Hasn't ever done that before. I'll be back. All right, boys, we're gonna try that again. Uh, that didn't sound right. It's never done that before. All right, so that time that definitely sounded right. Uh, so it makes me wonder if I've got an injector that's stuck open along with um well if there's an injector stuck open oh no but it could be a lot of things um i'm suspecting the stc fitting um i'm suspecting i've got low base oil pressure i guess we'll just have to dig in and find out all right i'll be back all right guys <clears throat> so we're going to be running a few tests. We're gonna start with, I think, um, let me see, I get the fitting. We're gonna check uh, the, uh, they call them fuel rails, but they actually contain oil. And they go, this adapter here goes behind the um, ICP sensor right there on the passenger side. So you put that in and connect air to it, and then you open your oil cap oil fill cap and uh, well you got to take this crap out of the way but then you got to listen through the the crankcase ventilation um, hole and uh, listen for leaks I guess let's first things first let's do uh, the ICP sensor um, air test I'll be back all right guys so I <clears throat> I decided to do the base oil pressure test first. So I got my oil filter. I, I pulled, unscrewed it and got it draining a little bit. Um, now if you look over here to the left, um, this cable right here, it goes straight to your starter. You want to pull this out. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Yep, there we go. It looks just like that. It's got a little point in the end of it. And uh, you make sure your batteries are good and charged and what you're going to do is you're going to well pull this underneath this crap right here but you're going to end up touching that to that right there you're going to touch the tip of that to right there while you look in here um you got to have an extension though um you need an extension to press down on this relief valve you basically just push down on it like that and it keeps the oil from uh, coming out but um let me get this put in here so oil doesn't go everywhere, and then I will be back to show you that. So, I don't know how well you can see down in here, but if you look at this like a clock, you know, this is the cab. You know, you got your 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. If you look at, I would say about 2 o'clock, back down in there, there is a little relief valve. What you're going to do is... You're going to stick your extension on it and press it down. And while you press that down, you're going to do what I said a second ago. You're going to take this wire over here and you're going to put it to that battery terminal. So I'm going to set the camera up here so you can see down in there. I'm going to press down on the relief valve. Hopefully you can see that. And I am going to take the wire and touch it to the battery like I said. <laughs>
All right. I don't think that that's the greatest in the world, but I don't think that's my problem. So I'll come back to that later. We'll go on with our search. You see, I let off the relief valve and the oil's going down. All right, boys, I'll be back. All right, guys, so we are going to take out the ICP sensor. It is right here. This is your charge pipe on the passenger side. It's right there. You gotta be real careful with these uh, connectors because they're, you know, at this age, they're gonna be brittle. All right, so it's gonna be a 15, I don't know if I can even find the numbers on it. There it is, 15 sixteenths. And this AC pipe is gonna give me hell. All right, so um, let me get a swivel on this and I will be right back. All right, so now we got a swivel on here. Let's, bam, like a glove. All right, so let's get our, get our wrench on here and uh, hold on I'm gonna mount this on my head all right guys so I got it mounted on my head now let me get uh, let me get this out of here real quick a little snug on there okay Got our ICP sensor. Um, gasket, the gasket on it seems to be fine. Um, all right. So, if you can see, if you can see down in here, right there is where we're gonna put that air connector, and uh, we're gonna put some air to this. And uh, once I get the piece in there, I will be right back. All right, guys. So I got the piece in there. Um, as you can see, it's like a little bronze, and then it's got the little air connector piece on it. Um, it is a 11 sixteenths. Um, so I'm about to connect my air to it, and I'm going to use a handy dandy little trick that I learned back when I used to work in a muffler shop. I'm going to take a this hose right here and I'm going to stick it in where the oil fill goes and I'm going to stick the other end right here to my ear so I can uh, get a better sound of what's going on you know I don't want to hear a false sound if there's a leak right here where I tightened it up or something you know alright so let me get the air connected and uh, I'm going to set up the other camera and I'll start listening I'll be back Okay, so I definitely hear a leak. I can hear the, the gurgling like of, uh, of the oil down in there. Here, let me see if I can bring it closer. You guys can hear. All right, guys, so this is what I was talking about. I took the wheel well out. That took me, I don't know, maybe five minutes. But see all this access I have to these bolts down here? Right there, right there. There's one on the back side there. Um, I had hell fighting them whenever I was at the Grand Canyon. But it um, should be a whole lot easier this time. Um, I'm going to get up top and I'm going to start taking apart all that crap. So I will be back. All right, so we're going to start with the CAC tube. Um, we got to loosen that 11 millimeter nut and this 11 millimeter nut. I'll be back. All right, so I got those loosened up. I pushed this one back and I pushed this clamp back. And now I'm pull this out and I'm gonna probably get my pry bar and wiggle that out because it tends to like to get stuck so let me get that out and I'll be back so this is a Harbor Freight pry bar real cheap um, let's get it like that and give it a little wiggle get a watch there we go 
Sorry. All right, now nope. cat tube's out. All right, so next important thing is we're gonna disconnect this uh, this positive right here that goes to the uh, alternator, so we don't have any shorts. Um, all right, so get that off, and then I'm gonna start taking this. Um, this is your glow plug relay. I mean, not relay, but a module. I'm gonna take that out. It's just a 10 millimeter, and then a 10 millimeter on the back side. All right, I'm rambling. Let's get this shit done. Okay. All right, guys. So I got the uh, wire loom snaked underneath this um, um, coolant line. So these are 12s. Um, I'm going to get those out. Um, I got to loosen up this uh, uh, trans dipstick. Yeah, get all those out. Let's fucking get it done. All right, guys. So we got the top ones. All we have left is that one that one and that one and the valve cover comes out and as you can see so much easier to get to down here on the bottom look at that if you've done this before you know exactly what I'm talking about all right let me get these jokers out of here and we'll pull the valve cover later all right guys so we got the uh, the valve cover out we just moved you know, the little sinister diesel over to the side and moved the dipstick over and just pulled it right out. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, air the air compressor back up and see if we can't pinpoint this leak a little bit. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've <clears throat> got our air. hear it really bad I just don't know where it's coming from um, let me get my tube all right guys <clears throat> I have where'd it go I have right here a brand new dummy plug um, I'm gonna take that one out because I know that that one was an old one that I left in there it is the upgraded model and uh, it looked okay but let's take it out and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lube up these O-rings real quick, and I'm gonna put this one in its place. And I'm crossing my fingers that I don't that that's the problem, and I, I don't have to <clears throat> take all this other crap off to reseal the the nipple cups or the injector. Um, I'll be back. Okay, guys. All right, we got the old one out. We got the brand new one in. So, and let's see if that fixed our problem. That did not fix our problem. All right, so it appears that we at least need to do the nipple cups. Well, that and the injector possibly needs to be done. So I will be back. <clears throat> All right, guys, so um, as you just heard, it still leaked after I put the brand new dummy plug in there. So it's, it's either gonna be a worn uh, a nipple cup well, with probably also a worn O-ring. Um, <clears throat> and when that happens, it usually screws up the O-rings um, on that injector as well. That is one, three. So it should be injector three. Um, so I'm gonna have to order some parts and uh, this video will continue once I get parts in. Um, thanks for watching so far and uh, I'll try to cut this up so it's not long as all fucking hell, but uh, later.